So we have another uh, geometry problem. So this is a funky area problem. So we have a uh, semicircle diameter of one. So which is given right here as a part of the semicircle of diameter of two is given, right? So there is like a semicircle right here. And then there is another semicircle. Uh, this has diameter of one. This has diameter of two, right? Um, the shade that inside of the smallest circle and outside of the largest semicircle is called loon. We are looking for the area of this, this loon, okay? So the first things first, like, since this is a region that we do not have any nice, uh, I guess, formula, that's why we just call like funky region, funky areas. So in those cases, we like to kind of find the region in a way that we just add or subtract to region that we know how to find. So for that reason, I will start with finding my center points of each like semicircle. And if I connect the, the center point to the tangencies, I mean, the intersection, sometimes that would be tangency point. So that will give us usually some ideas on what we can do. Since we know this is diameter of two, which is why this is one and one, so this is one and this is one. Nicer because this is a equilateral triangle would mean that this gives us six degrees, right? So what we need is this straighter region. We, we may find this straighter region if we know the area of this uh, smaller piece, right? Then I'm gonna name this region as A. If I can find this A, then I can subtract A from the half, like, so, like area of the semicircle to get this straighter region. But I can find A as well by using the this figure because there is a, a sector going on right here. So maybe we should find the that way. So let's highlight this region. So if I take this sector, right, and subtract area of the equilateral triangle, so that will give us A. So let's go ahead and find that. So the A is gonna be, since this is 60 degrees out of the 360, which is one sixth of um, full circle, and that will be pi times radius square, radius of this uh, one is one, so that should be one square, minus, we wanna find the area of this triangle, since this is a quiet triangle, if you don't remember, so the S squared times root three over four is the area for a quiet triangle, which we we'll like to remember. And so if I use that, so the side length is one, so that should be one squared times root three over four. So the A is just gonna be pi over six minus root three over four. Okay, but we wanna find the shaded region. So let's go ahead and find that region now. The shaded region is equal to the area of the half of the circle, which is, this smaller one, which is a one half times pi times radius of this. Since this was diameter, which is one, the radius is one over two. So that will be one over two squared minus the region A. So if I subtract this from this uh, guy, so that will give us the shaded region. So let's go ahead and do that. So pi over six minus root three over four. And if I simplify this, this is gonna be one over four times one over two, which is one over eight. So pi over eight. And then there is pi over six. Since this is negative, this is negative, that will become a plus. So that should be plus root three over four. So if you simplify this guy, so you will get like pi over 24, but that will be negative since this negative one has larger absolute value. So that will give us root three over four minus I over 24, this is choice C. So I hope that was clear. So this was number 19 on AMC 10A and number uh, 15 on 12A. So which meant to be a bit challenging, but as you see, it wasn't too bad to be honest. So we just wanna remember the some basics and apply them. So, you know, this is a 60 degrees, which is easier. So I'm gonna leave it a challenge for you to see if you can actually make a general expression to find the, the area of the loon when you don't really know the actual values of these like diameters. Let's say this is A, 
this is B, and maybe we we don't really know the angle either. So based on that, so can you see if we can find a general expression that will give us the area of this balloon in in general? Okay, I'll I'll leave this challenge for you to try. So I'll see you in the next video.